Hello everyone, this is Justin Carowin with an official face reveal, hi, and channel update video. Now I apologize for the lack of content over the past year, other priorities have taken, well, priority. But I have been working on something that past year, and over that year, I've acquired some new techno, I've acquired some new equipment. What's that? Yes. I. Can. Edit. Now. Using. Windows. Movie. Maker. Now, I know they say that that's the worst. Stitch, you can't have my coffee. You know this stuff makes you hyper. Now, as I was saying, I know that's the worst. Uh, I know they say that's the worst editing software you can use, but if it works, it works. Now, on top of the usual puzzle unboxing and, see, and reviews, uh, reviews, I will also... So, by popular demand, be showing the construction process. Now that I can edit, I can shoot the shoot that process and speed it up for you. However, I will also be adding something to the channel. Something I call... Puzzle art. It's where I build and glue 2D puzzles and frame them. Also... When construction is completed, after every puzzle, I will do this. Drop test. As you can see, solid as a rock. If you're planning on using any kind of a adhesive backing to put this on your wall, I assure you that will fail before this does. I apologize for how squeaky my chair is. I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it. The rules are made of plastic. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's the Christmas season. Why don't you do something a bit more Christmassy? Well, the thing is, everything Santa Claus is connected to something that is trademarked, and I want to try to avoid trademark infringement. Now, I get that most of it is probably in the public domain, but I'd rather not take chances. And come on, how many many pictures of the nativity could you have in your home? Um, especially if you're thinking about getting something like this for a Christmas present. Right? Someone get a picture of the nativity or Santa and post it on their wall for... And... I don't want to go over there. And post it on their wall. Well, only to take it down a few weeks later and put it in storage. No one wants to do that. However, if you're the kind of person who likes to put up something Christmassy and leave it up it all year round, more power to you. But all of my stuff will be generic. Nothing trademarked. Unless it is a commission piece. Now, all of my um, upcoming puzzles will be be on my DeviantArt page, and everything that I have completed will be on my Etsy page. I am also trying to become a published author. I've got one book that's already ready and on Amazon, but for some reason some people are having problems with the link. So I will be posting the Amazon link and my Etsy, and, um, my Etsy link in the description, where you can, find, you can find my book. Also in the description, you will find a link to my Patreon page. But I understand if you can't afford or to donate anything monthly. Fortunately, the subscribe and like buttons, buttons are free of charge. Now, I know I said I don't do anything trademarked, but if it is commissioned, if it is commissioned, I will. Also, I'm still still experimenting with whether with whether or not I'll use. I'm still experimenting with trim and whether or not I'll use stain on my puzzle frames. Personally, I like the the bare wood look. However, I will be using Microsoft Paint to attempt to let you see how the um, puzzle would look if it was stained. If you want a stained puzzle, it'll be five dollars extra. The price is subject to change, but the main point is it'll be a little bit, a little bit more expensive.
Now, if you want to suggest any kind of trim to use in the puzzle, well, bear in mind I am working on a shoestring budget. So please, nothing too expensive. Having said that, that cheap in price does not always mean cheap in quality. I would not be using any kind of foam on my puzzles. As for the wood that the backing and the trim is made of, I generally just use whatever I have available. But if you are interested in a particular type, again, commission. All of that will be in my Patreon, Patreon tiers. More information on that will be on my Patreon page. Again, link in the description. And if you're interested in crochet products, I'll also be posting my also be posting my mother's Etsy page in the, in the description. Now, for those of you with cat allergies, I should warn you: these puzzles are built in a uh, in a house with two cats. Just a little heads up there. Now, I had originally planned on. I'm doing a um, doing a construction should have stitch here share for you to end the video but I was having some trouble getting the lighting and um, see getting the lighting and the um, and the angles just right like this thing is translucent plastic it, it looks beautiful in reality but seeing it on screen I'm not sure how well you can see this um, so instead, I'm going to do a stop motion build montage of it after uh, to close the, to close the video out. Hope you enjoy that. So now, in the spirit of the in the spirit of Christmas, Merry Christmas to my fellow Burns and Pegasus sisters. There's happy hearts warming, and. God bless us, everyone.